came out in the garden. <coughs> of course, my plants are having a fungus problem. Tomato plant. So, I came out and did some spray bottles up. They like came out quick. Or else I wasn't paying attention. Right here. <coughs> And I mixed a couple spray bottles and these recyclable bottles. I used these. It was cleaner. I cleaned them out a long time ago. And I just did them with a cleaner. I've done all these tomato plants. I've mixed the mixture and put some in the bottom of each one in the soil. And I've sprayed each one. And I did all the ones on the other side of the fence over there. So I've got left. I did the soil of these ones, but now i got to spray all those ones. And i got one on the other side. So, but right now, I'm going to go change the duck water, and then I'll come back and do this. It is about 10 o'clock in the morning. My husband's kind of like doing seconds now, so got him off to work with his lunch and stuff. <clears throat> and decided I better come out here and bite this fungus, because I seen it yesterday. I've been taking out branches, not thinking. I'm like, oh, I have these dying too much water or something. Ends up being fungus. See right there? That's what it looks like. I did a post on it yesterday on my gardening page on my Facebook. So I sprayed everything. You're supposed to take it all off, all the dead ones. I'm going to come through with scissors and burn it. Or don't put it in your compost. Because if you put it in your compost, it could be in your compost and you'll have it again next year. So I'm going to go through and cut all these off. <clears throat> this one has quite a bit. You can see all that. They were looking so beautiful and then something has to happen. <coughs> Look how good my zucchini looks over there. I'm hoping I don't get zucchini plants. My friend Andrea on YouTube got the worms. So I came out looking for worms. That's when I found the fungus yesterday. So I'm treating it. That's all you can do. My tomatoes look really good. I have one that looks like it has it. Let me see where it's at. Right here. Not sure if that's what the fungus looks like on a tomato. That's the only one so far, so I think I'm supposed to take it off. I'm just going to sit it here on the table and see what happens. But yeah, so I got to still do those and then I'll come out. I think I got scissors in my greenhouse. I'm going to come out and cut too, so I'll be back. This is my day. What I'm going to do is dip the water out of there into this one. And then I'm going to dump this five gallon pail onto my pumpkin patch. That's what we've been watering the pumpkin patch with. And it's huge. It's doing really good. So I'm going to keep doing it. It's like fertilizing it. So here we go. Okay, let's see if we can catch the ducks playing without scaring them. <laughs> the one's cleaning the other one's feathers. It's so funny. See if they'll let me get closer if I don't get too close. I'm going to sit right here and see if I can watch them. There's a kitty's out there climbing the tree. There they go. I'm going to have to fill it up again before I go back in the house. My grandson usually does it at night, but I thought it was going to I did it this morning. That way I watered all of this. And it's a really good fertilizer for that. And I watered everything close to it. So that all I have is the fertilizer. And believe me, it smells. When I go in, I need a shower. I mean, I can't smell it on me, but I know. I can't. He's trying to eat a leaf or something. She can walk right in there. If I put the bucket in the way. She's waiting for me to bury her. She's got babies. She's got four. There's a cat going up the tree. See it over there? There you go, up the tree. I think their mom was teaching them to hunt the other day because she brought them a mouse. And that one right there that I'm giving away, closest. Right there, he who ate it. What are you doing in there? So you put a fence up to keep the animals out, she goes right in there. Now she's trying to figure out how to get out. I cannot believe how big they are. Kitties are all the way back there. There's a black one way back by the fence. I can't see it on here. I don't know where the other one is. 
Oh, my bucket's over flooding. I can hear it. I hope this ain't boring everybody watching the ducks. What the duck? Taking their morning bath. There's a kitty over there. I'm gonna go under the fence. They're so smart. Okay, I'm under the fence. She found a spot. There goes Gidget. Checking on the kittens. I think she's trying to figure it out. Oh, she's going back over to clean that one. I don't know which ones are males and which ones are females yet. Whoa. Almost got me. Okay, guys. We're going to look at some other stuff I've been doing. That's relaxing. Just watching them. Okay. There is a pile of my clippings right there from the tomato plants. Right there. Done halfway down. So i got to go finish doing that. And i got to finish going this way. And I'm going to... Take care of that and water my squash. Okay, my pile's a little bigger. I got that that whole side done. And this one. And that one, but it looks like I gotta get this leaf here. And I'm gonna start there. I was weeding here. So I haven't been in the greenhouse for a while. The grass was growing all across there, so there's a pile of grass, and I took I don't know how this crab grass is getting in my pots. Except, you know, the wind, I guess. So I'm going to go through this side. I'm out of breath already. I'm old. I don't even smoke. Never have. Okay. We're getting down to it. Drink some coffee. Okay, we'll look at my progress. Right there's a pile. These things are going to be naked by the time I'm done. Did that whole side and this side. All the way to the one right there. I had to take my dog in because I heard the neighbor guy. I've lived here for 25 years and never had a bad neighbor until now. But maybe I have a bad dog. My dog literally barked twice and he screamed, Shut up! Shut your windows. If you really work third shift, shut your window. So I took my dogs in the house. Wow, it's ridiculous. Anyways. See all that? I gotta cut that all out. And then I got, I think these are the last ones. My pumpkin patch looks awesome over there, don't it? Thank you, grandson, for watering it with the duck pool water. See, I don't want to lose these tomatoes. They look so good. I'm sorry if my videos make you dizzy. I had somebody said, I ask, because she's. She's from the UK, and she has a really nice channel. And she said, I asked her if she could give me any tips. She goes, yeah, just slow down and stay somewhere for a minute. Yeah, and I understand because I'm always, like, trying to hurry up. But this one has so many tomatoes, and then to get that disease. Look at that. I don't want to lose them all. See, the tomatoes better since I took all this stuff off. So this is going to be a mainly tomato video. How I'm doing my fungus disease. Right here. Okay. There's another zinnia. My daughter loves these. I told her they're really easy. I should Next year I'm going to do a couple different spots and put them in the ground. I usually put them in the ground in a certain area and I never got to it. So I'm put this back. Look at my pumpkins going to grow right up the house. And this is like my zucchinis are going right up that just like I wanted them to. They're going right up the trellis. So I'm hoping that works out good. And I'll make, oh, see, there's a couple on this side I didn't get because they're on this side. A couple bad spots. Okay. God bless. I'll be back. Okay, here's my pile. Right here's a little bit of grass. This is a tomato fungus off all my tomato plants. I think I got them all. 
We'll throw them in the fire pit. Hey, I've been out here for two hours and I am done with the tomato plants. So this will be my tomato video. Here's a couple birthdays. See the birthday down the front? They're so pretty. I love sitting out here watching birds. But I did get some snap peas the other day. And I took in some mint. Threw some in my car just so for an experiment to see if my car would smell, smell like experiment. But these finally blooming over here. Give it a little look. And there. Uh, used to need to go around the tomato plants. Seems I only have one left over here because I moved them all. I should move those. But uh, this is my basil. Isn't that pretty? There's three of them blooming here right in the row. All white. Okay, God bless everybody. Have a good day. Let me know in the comments if you have any problem with your plants. Bye.